the inverted lat row is actually the reason these bars were invented. Um, these bars, the Liebert equalizer bars, were invented by Mark Liebert up in Canada. Somewhere in Canada, Ontario maybe, I don't know where, somewhere up there. Um, um, he actually designed, it took him a long time to design them, uh, but he designed them to help one of his female clients uh, train her upper body, strengthen her upper body so she could be able to do pull-ups and chin-ups on a, on a chin-up bar. So he, you know, went through several models of this until they finally came up with the EQ bars. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do an inverted lat row, which works not only your arms, but your lower back, your lats. So um, you want to have the bar in a V position. The point of the V is here, and your head goes right in there. And you want to make sure that the feet of the wider end of the bar are right by your hips. So you want a good wide grip, but not too wide that you're going to damage your rotator cuff trying to pull yourself up. All right, so, so depending on your height and your width, the bars are going to be wide or the bars are going to be narrow. But you just still want to make sure they're in a V position. So you grab the handles, elevate your rear, get your body straight, and you just pull yourself up. Now, if you want to work on some um, core while you're doing these, add a hip tuck. So, same, same start position, butt up, body's aligned, you pull yourself up, then you tuck, keeping that head up here, butt back up, lower the upper body only, then you repeat. So, you raise your, lower, your upper body, you tuck your hips, come back up, lower the upper body. We'll do it one more time. Up, tuck, back up, and then lower. So those are a couple options for inverted lat rows. Great way to work on your upper body, your back, and your hips if you add that tuck in there. So enjoy.